Coming up on today's episode of Airborne, Honda Jet is just months away from first jet deliveries. Honeywell issues its 23rd global business aviation forecast, and Aloft Technology debuts their Clarity Aloft Pro Plus headset. Welcome to Airborne on Aero TV. I'm Ashley Hale. We're coming to you all this week from the 2014 MBAA Convention and Trade Show in Orlando, Florida. Today at the show, Honda Jet said they're just months away from deliveries of their new jet. ANN's editor in chief, Jim Campbell, caught up with Honda Jet CEO, Michi Masafujino, to talk about getting planes into the hands of customers. Obviously, coming into MBAA 2014, you've had an extraordinarily eventful year. Can you explain where you go through the rest of 2014 and into 2015? Uh, we have, uh, in the final phase of certification program, uh, we have conducted uh, extensive uh, certification program and we have logged more than 2,000 flight hours. In the next year, we will finish up all certification testing and we expect to deliver the Honda Jet first quarter 2015. You have an extraordinary challenge coming up where you go from a research to a production and training environment and dealing with customers. How has customer reception from the initial demo tour indicated to you how the airplane will be received? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, that is a very important portion. Uh, you know, airplane industry has to provide service, customer service, as well as a good product. So my focus is to provide best product service from day one. I created the customer service facility and prepare for all customer service portion, include parts, deliveries. So I think you know we could satisfy the customer uh, from the day one. And finally, you talked about additional investment in your infrastructure in North Carolina. What exactly is taking place now and when will it be completed? Uh, we have a very strong request about the sales of Honda Jet. So we are ex expecting more sales in the next year. So we. I try to emphasize and uh, strengthen the, uh, our sales activities. So uh, in order to accommodate those sales demand, I decide to uh, expand our sales office in the headquarter. So our headquarter size become almost double this year, next year. And also uh, preparing for entry into service, we uh, construct the uh, preparation hangar to you know, final touch-up for the production and delivery aircraft. Well, if you're interested in what's going on at MBAA 2014, the best place to start is by reading the Honeywell Global Business Aviation Forecast. This detailed report brings into focus what's expected in business aviation over the next decade. Honeywell is forecasting a 4% average annual industry growth over next decade, including up to 9,450 deliveries of new business jets, valued at $280 billion, forecast through 2024. The forecast indicates that European and Brazilian purchase plan percentages lead all world regions, and large cabin jets account for up to 46% of five-year new purchase plans. The company says the annual outlook reflects topical operator concerns, but also identifies longer cycle trends we use in our own product decision process. Gulfstream's new G600 and G500 programs announced last week were outlined for the press gathered at MBAA Monday morning. Several orders for the G500 were announced along with the rollout. Among the most innovative feature of the new Gulfstream jets is that their fly-by-wire system includes an active control side stick. Gulfstream says the ACS system offers enhanced safety and situational awareness over passive sticks through tactile feedback. With electronic linking of the ACSs, the pilot and co-pilot can see and feel each other's control inputs, which helps improve pilot coordination in the cockpit. Coming up, Garmin offers a new standalone ADS-B solution. Airborne is coming to you this week from MBAA's 2014 annual convention in Orlando, sponsored by Mid-Continent Instruments and Avionics, proudly serving the global aviation community for more than 50 years. Visit their website at www.mcico.com. Meet Sam, the new 2-inch standby attitude module from Mid-Continent Instruments and Avionics. Sam's unique two-screen display features high-definition graphics and extra-wide viewing angles. Get to know Sam today. Visit flysam.com.
Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Welcome back to Airborne at MBAA 2014 in Orlando, Florida. Garmin has established strategic partnerships with certain members of its authorized dealer network to bring a standalone ADSB solution to popular transport and business aircraft. This minimally intrusive solution leverages existing equipment to alleviate the need for costly flight management systems and cockpit display upgrades. Utilizing Garmin's GTX 3000 Mode S Extended Squitter Transponders, GDL88 ADSB Data Link, and Flightstream Wireless Gateway, operators can meet ADSB out requirements while adding the capability to wirelessly receive the benefits of ADSB in on a mobile device in the cockpit. Flightstream enhances this solution by providing crew members quick and easy wireless access to beneficial information in the cockpit. Garmin is currently working with select Garmin authorized dealers to approve the installation of this solution via supplemental type certificate in specific aircraft models. The Royal Jordanian Air Force has selected the Robinson R-44 Raven II helicopter to replace its aging fleet of Hughes 500Ds, which have been in service since 1981. Equipped with Garmin and Aspen glass avionics and Bendix King's new military KTR-909 UHF transceiver, the white R-44s will be used for primary helicopter training. The first four R-44s are scheduled for delivery at the end of this year, with the second four to follow in 2015. To prepare for their arrival, 10 Jordanian pilots have already attended Robinson Safety Course, and 12 of their mechanics will attend the company's maintenance course later this month. After the break, it's Textron's first MBAA as Textron Aviation. We're coming to you from MBAA 2014 in Orlando, Florida, sponsored by True Blue Power. Innovative power solutions including USB charging ports, inverters, emergency power supplies, and certified lithium-ion aircraft batteries. Visit their website at www.truebluepowerusa.com. Today's pilots must have power for electronic flight bags, tablets, iPads, and communication devices. The TA-102 dual USB charging port delivers more power with less hassles. Available from your local avionics dealer. ADS-V will be mandatory for most aircraft by 2020 in the United States, but you can benefit from ADS-V today with the Bendix King KT-74 Mode S Transponder. The KT-74 meets the global mandates for ADS-B out when attached to a suitable WASP GPS. Finally, the extraordinary story of the world-changing XPRIZE space competition is being told and illustrated with hundreds of insider photos in Jim Campbell's colorful new book, Beyond the Blue. Journey with Jim as he flies formation with spaceships, plays in zero gravity, prepares rocket racers, and documents the amazing first decade of the personal space race. Available this summer. Get your advance order in now by checking out www.kindredspirit.com. Welcome back to Airborne on Aero TV, coming to you from the MBAA 2014 Convention and Trade Show in Orlando, Florida. For the first time, Beechcraft and Cessna are at MBAA under the umbrella of Textron Aviation. The company made several announcements on Monday morning, including a performance upgrade for the Beechcraft King Air C90 GTX, giving the airplane shorter takeoff and landing distances, better handling characteristics, and enhanced passenger experience. The King Air 250 can now be ordered with a factory installed modification that increases the maximum takeoff weight from 12,500 pounds to 13,420 pounds, providing 1,025 pounds of payload with full fuel.
Over on the Cessna side of the house, Textron Aviation said that the recently certified Citation 10 Plus has now set several city-to-city -city speed records for its weight class, including Seattle to Miami, making the 2,375 nautical mile trip in only 4 hours 52 minutes. According to the National Aeronautic Association certification, the Citation 10 Plus set four speed records over a two-day period in its weight class for flights over a recognized course. And finally, Aloft Technologies is showing off their Clarity Aloft Pro Plus headset for professional pilots at MBAA 2014. The Pro Plus headset is the fourth headset model offered by Aloft Technologies using in-the-air sound blocking technology and the second headset model with TSO certification. Aloft Technologies introduced their first TSO certified headset in 2007. To certify a headset to FAA TSO standards, the headset manufacturer must demonstrate the consistent performance of the headset over a wide range of conditions, including high altitude, temperature extremes, electrostatic discharge immunity, and varying electronic environments environments found in aircraft. Well, that's our program for Monday, October 20th from MBAA 2014 in Orlando, Florida. Join us all this week to get the latest news in business aviation. I'm Ashley Hale. Thanks for watching.